I feel like Aquarius has been dealing with fire signs for quite some time. And like an older fire sign too. So it could be male or female, but I do feel like it's a, it's got a very strong energy. This is somebody who feels a lot of passion, but they know how to rein it in. And they know, they understand the importance of timing. So if you're dealing with this person on a relationship front, I do feel that, you know, there are de there's definitely a great deal of passion that they're holding in. And they're waiting for the right time to come forward, okay? Um, I do feel that in the past, like if this is somebody... I've been seeing a fire sign for Aquarius for quite some time, like a few months back. July, August, September. And I'm getting the feeling that if this is a brand new per I don't think it's a brand new person. But if it's um, somebody that you've known for quite some time, they've held their feelings in. They were really difficult to read. However, this month, they're letting it go. They're letting things loose. And they're coming forward with possibly a proposal, okay? And what this is telling me here, there might be... You, you might have two, potentially two suitors. So let's see who else is in the picture for you. So I do feel passion brewing in this King of Wands um, heart, but he's very controlled. He might be a little bit controlling as well, and he knows his weaknesses. He knows that, you know, control issues is something that he might need to work on. Therefore, he's very cautious about uh, approaching you. Wow. Okay, so we have the lovers here. And you're juggling two things, and then the lovers comes in, and you have the, wow, so this is like, almost like love at first sight with the lovers and the tower card. Okay, I'm going to get two more cards, and then we'll start the reading. Okay, so I haven't seen the tower for an Aquarius reading for quite some time. And um, it's actually, you know, good that it's in the reverse position. So I do sense... Okay, first of all, let, let's go through this. Like I said, there's this uh, fire energy. And this can be, you know, sun, moon, rising. And fire sign is... Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I do feel that, you know, it's one of those components. It's somebody who is very... Um, who's very who's very passionate they could be passionate on the work front they could just exude a lot of passion you feel their physical presence around you and i do feel there is a discrepancy here between how you both feel about one another and what is actually being expressed because i do feel a, a shyness either a shyness or a sense of suppressed energy regarding you know with you or with this fire sign so this fire sign i feel has been in the picture for quite some time possibly like you know um july september july august september something like that and it never things never culminated things were never given a voice mainly because they might be shy even though you know fire signs are not known to be shy but i do feel they might be a little bit shy either that or you both were debating back and forth whether or not this is a relationship that can that should come to be that should come together for whatever reason and i do feel that externally external to your environment we have the emperor which is like an authority figure that is overlooking this entire situation that might frown upon this union so it can be you know a father figure who is thinking of who who doesn't really want so for example you're an aquarius female you might have a father figure who doesn't want you to date you know somebody who's so much older than you for example or you could be an aquarius male and you're interested in to, in somebody on the work front for example and then your boss doesn't um, look kindly upon office romance so you know there is definitely a, an external authority figure that is affecting the union or the coming together in this relationship there's definitely some type of risk associated with this union as well so you and the other the fire sign has been debating back and forth whether or not to solidify this relationship 
or whether or not to merge together. I definitely see a period of, you know, a great deal of like skirting around the issue and also looking into the situation and thinking kind of like, is it worth it? Is it risk the, um, is it risk getting caught? Is it risk? Is it worth the risk? And is the risk, are the risks bigger than whatever it is that we're feeling for one another? So I do feel this is something that is going to come into the picture, especially the second half of this month. Whether or not you both make a decision, I, I feel like it's going to come together no matter what. But the ramifications of it, it's um, it's kind of like to be continue. It's going to continue in, into November, and you're going to have to figure out, you know, how to stabilize this relationship. Okay, so the relationship itself looks very, very fruitful. If you both you know, lived in a vacuum where other people's opinion doesn't affect the relationship. If you live in a, a vacuum where external environment doesn't have any bearing or does not dictate the flow of this the relationship, then I do feel innately it is very, very stable. Both parties are putting in equal amount of work in order to sustain the relationship. At the same time, the person that you're dealing with is very, it's very kingly, is very in control. He has a great deal of passion, but he knows how to hold back. He knows when it is appropriate to show or display passion and affection. And he's also, you know, he, his, his passion is in check. So you're not dealing with someone who will sneak out, you know, behind your back and sleep with other people. I don't sense that. You're not dealing with someone who is, um, who's a liar mainly because kings have moral integrity and they command respect and you know they're um, they command followers because they know how to set a good example so you're dealing with somebody who's actually who has a moral compass and who has a very very strong sense of personal and moral integrity so like I said, if you all lived in an island and, you know, it's just you and the other person, everything would just work out. However, there are definitely things outside of your control that are kind of like tightening the relationship and giving it a lot of structure and restriction. And as an Aquarius and whoever it is that you're dealing with, is, is a, it's a fire sign. So because of everything that's kind of like, you know, coming through to put limits and restrictions on this relationship, it can be a little bit jarring. Okay, so I do sense this is something that you're going to have to decide. Is the relationship worth it? Or are the restrictions so great that you don't have the creativity and the freedom to act the way you want in this relationship? I do feel there is an element of risk involved here. I do sense that if this is a love situation that developed on the work front, you could potentially be found out and you could potentially, you know, have to leave your job or the other person um, is stepping in wanting you to not lose your job. They might step out. So you want to be really careful if you, you know, company policy forbids office romance, you might want to look it over, look over your manual and see if this is something that you have to disclose to HR about prior to getting in the relationship. So either way, protect yourself and your partner by knowing whatever is required, doing all the paperwork so that this relationship can thrive. Okay. Once again, we are dealing with external environment, placing restrictions on the relationship. I don't sense that this is internal. The, the relationship is very stable. There's a great deal of passion. There's a great deal of love. Whenever I see the tower and the lovers together, even though the tower is reversed, I always think of this as um, love at first sight. Okay, this is some somebody that you meet and then you automatically know that um, there's this deep sense of like belonging feeling as if you don't have to hold so tightly to your cards that you can show the other person your cards even upon like five minutes of interaction with them you feel as if they understand you on a very deep level and you don't have to put up a wall to protect yourself you don't have to hold so tightly to your heart 
because they're not going to hurt you. So this is some somebody that you're that you've met and you know there is definitely a great deal of passion. Aside from that, I don't feel there's deception with the moon card in the reverse position. And I also feel that this is something that is almost it's even faded. I do feel it is faded. And moving forward, one of the main lesson that's permeating through is that you have to figure out, you know, like the lovers as well, it's about choices. You have to figure out, you know, as an Aquarius, you really value your freedom. You, you value your ability to come and go in any situation. And now you find yourself at a crossroads. And the relationship itself, it's so good, but it's going to, I would say, it's going to... Um, create structure or somewhat of a foundation that you or like a confines that you have to work under or you have to work within and as a result of it you, you're not entirely 100 percent happy with that so you have to figure out for yourself whether or not this is worth it and i do feel it is worth it so it's teaching you a little bit more about the balancing act which is balancing where you end and others begin for like for example like a pisces would uh have boundary issues in that they don't know where they end and others begin so they might allow others to push their boundaries whereas for an aquarius you're very freedom loving you're very eccentric and you don't like the restrictions of being in a relationship so you're going to have to to decide this month I feel like a lot of you have decided that it is worth it. But now in the process of incorporating the other person into your life, you're realizing that, wow, I really don't have that much time for myself anymore. Or I don't want to do this, but my lover, you know, really likes this one thing that I absolutely can't stand. So for example, if you hate going to the theater and your partner loves it, you're going to have to go to the theater. You're going to have to suck it up and go to the theater because they love it. So it's one of those things where you have to know like when it's okay to compromise and you have to know that, you know, we all have to do things that we don't like in order to cater to somebody that we love. Okay. And it can be just um, as simple as that. And I know that Aquarius, you have very strong likes and dislikes and you like many things, but when you dislike something, you absolutely cannot bring yourself to do it. So if it's like the theater, ice skating, or something like that that you absolutely hate, but the other person loves, you're going to have to suck it up and do it. And I do feel that's one of the things that really irks you. And it's something that you're going to have to figure out whether or not it's worth it. So that's on an individual basis. But I do feel like major restrictions coming through on the relationship front, okay? It can be imposed from outside or it can be, you know, from within in which you feel like... I do sense as well timing. Timing is a huge factor. We have the moon reverse, wheel of fortune in the reverse, and two of pentacles. So I do sense overall this is a very, very good financial month for you. I do feel that you're working diligently you are also looking for or waiting upon a decision, a major decision, possibly of a job opportunity coming through with the Two of Pentacles, two job opportunities coming through where you're weighing the pros and cons and you're weighing out your options, okay? So it is a very busy month. On top of that, you're doing your own thing. You're trying to cultivate your financial base or at least you're trying to build up your foundation, and then this person comes into the picture and you're just totally enamored with them and you're trying to decide in between life, in between work, in between me time, how can I possibly incorporate another person into my life? You know, it's going to take a lot of my time. I do want them in my life because I'm really drawn to them and I feel like I have to make a decision. So you're kind of like, panicking you have to make a decision because you're afraid that if you don't act soon enough if you don't tell them how you feel they're going to find somebody else but that's all in your head i do feel this person is very patient 
they've been patient for quite some time and I do feel that you know it might have been a situation where they they like you a lot but based on whatever the external environment is they were never able to voice it so you know the 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 beastly energy which deals with like the carnal desire is definitely suppressed either from your side or their side so this might have been like one of those situations where you know one another or you've been in contact for quite a few months I don't feel this is an old lover okay so it came into the picture July August September possibly or as uh, early as like September like within the the last week of September so this is a brand new energy this is a new person that you're is just now in your picture and as a result of it, I feel like you both are trying to weigh out your options. I don't sense there's a third party involved. I don't feel like you're weighing to see whether or not who you should choose between because, you know, the um, the lovers does indicate to me next to the tower that you know who you want to be with. This is one of those very physically attractive person that you are just really magnetically drawn to so it's not a debate between two parties you know should I go with this guy or this guy or this girl and this girl that's not up for debate because you know who you want it's just there is definitely some external forces restricting the way in which it can play out and it can't just be your sense of independence you know wanting to make have time for yourself so by incorporating this person into your life you're going to realize that you have to open up and you have to be intimate with another person and you're not completely comfortable about bearing your soul even though there is a very strong emotional connection between the two of the, you there's almost even like almost a psychic link in which people are linked up in which like you know if the other person feels something you miles away feel it too if you're if they're sad and they put on a brave face, you're in the same room and you feel their sadness, okay? So a lot of you might be as well dealing with like a water sign, possibly a Pisces or somebody with like a Pisces energy. So I'm sensing fire, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries or like a Pisces, a Pisces energy. But either way, with the Pisces, there is still a very, very strong psychic link which is making it very hard for you to, like I said, this is not about deciding between two people. This is more about whether or not I can be vulnerable to open up and let that other person into my life. Because I'm feeling that a lot of you sense this is going to be a major, 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 major life um, partner. I, I do sense that. You, it's one of those things where it seems very faded. There's a very strong emotional psychic link. You're both starting to see one another in a different light, and you're both are like uh, you're you're putting your armor aside, okay? You're putting your armors aside. You're casting it aside, and you're approaching one another without pretenses. I mean, if you look at this, they're naked, which is that they have nothing to hide from one another, and you're starting to realize that whoever this person is that is weighing heavily on your mind if you enter into a relationship with them you're starting to realize the ramifications of that which is that it's not one of those flings it's a it's going to be a long-standing relationship and that's why you're really afraid is what I'm sensing a lot of you are afraid you want to have enough time for yourself you want to have enough time for your life for your friends for your family to come and go as you please and then if this relationship is in your life it's going to require you know you sacrificing your freedom so this is something that you're still grappling with by the third week I feel like you're still grappling with this the other person is going to be patient but I do sense you're going to have to make a choice here and the choice is coming through, I'm sensing the 28th, 29th, 30th of October. When Halloween happens, that's when you're going to have to like, um, that's when I feel like everything is building up. So maybe, you know, during the 27th September eclipse, this person is just like, okay, here's how I feel about you. Let's lay it on the table. And they're going to want something from you. They're going to want a commitment. And then by the end of this month, you are going to have to make a commitment. And you feel as if, I don't want to make this decision, but I have to, because if I don't, 
they're going to find somebody else. I don't feel they're going to find somebody else, but I do feel you have to make a choice and you have to overcome your fear of intimacy. And I know that for a lot of you too, like I said, there is an authority figure overlooking this situation and the authority figure would not approve of this specific situation. However, the, the pool is so great to this love partner, love relationship, the pool is so great that you don't know what to do, okay? So you don't ride it out because the first week we still have, the first week and a half, we still have Mercury in retrograde. And then we have the shadow period. So by like the 24th, 25th, that's when your thinking is going to be cleared up and that's when you're going to start to feel better, okay? And you're going to feel more confident about making the right decision. So wait until then. What I'm also sensing is for a lot of you, you've been working really hard and time is of like the utmost essence and you feel like you don't even have enough time to do recreational reading. You feel like you can't even do like enjoyable things in life, mainly because you've been overworked and then, you know, life throws you this curveball in the form of something that is really hard to resist. But I want you to stop and think maybe this is time for you to slow down. Because for the past few months, a lot of Aquarius have been dating a lot of people. And you're looking for love. And then you become very jaded. And then you bury yourself in work. And you're like very protective of your heart. I feel like as since like November, December 2014, a lot of you have been through a lot in terms of feeling very dissatisfied, very depleted emotionally in all of your relationships. And you bury yourself in work, and then this person comes along. And it's something that is thrown into your life to force you to re-examine what it is that is important. It's not about the money. It's not about, you know, there has to be a healthier way for you to really get through life. You know, better time management, for example, or... You have to really start to enjoy your life more and to learn to, to open up and to learn to, to let your guard down and to be more vulnerable when it comes to, you know, approaching a relationship without pretenses. And also when it comes to not fearing intimacy in a relationship. So, you know, that, that's like a, a very convoluted concept when, when someone says like, you know, they have a fear of intimacy. It's a deep rooted fear and people without intimacy problems, they don't know what it means. So this is something that you might want to open up about, you know, with this person so that they understand where you're coming from. Because I do feel that deep down they, they know it, they just haven't ever experienced it. So in your frazzled way, in your nervousness, when you come and approach this person and you talk to them and you tell them that like, okay, I really like you, but I'm really, really bad with intimacy. And then you both can sit down and, you know, discuss this. I do feel that is going to provide a lot of good insights into your own psyche that they might not be aware of. Okay. So either way, this is going to be a pretty dramatic month. I can't say anything else but dramatic because we are left with this, okay? And, and it's basically, you know, the things that are around in the periphery are like blips on the radar because by like the, I, I would say like from the 20th until the 28th, that's when you're going to have to be confronted with this choice. That's when your fears regarding relationship shows up that's when you're going to have to make a choice and you feel like whatever you path you take, you can't really backtrack. So you really want to take some time and have open, honest discussions. I don't feel that's going to be a problem this month, but I do sense that whatever it is, honesty is going to come in that will allow you both to have an opportunity to engage with one another in a very meaningful way in conversation, in action, okay? Um, so relationship aside, there is also a potential for a new work environment. And I feel like this is a business partnership. This is a business partnership. For those of you who have been in a business partnership since like, I, I, I believe March, 
and whoever it is your business partner is, I do feel that there's definitely money coming through. A lot of money coming through for you guys this month. And the influx of money reveals, you know, the other, the partner's true character. So this is something that you're grappling with. And you're going to have to decide whether or not to disband this relationship or to continue. And I do feel that, you know, if money comes in and then people's true colors start showing, that's usually a bad sign. So you might want to disband that relationship partnership to begin with, okay? So I feel like change is coming through as a result of money, as a result of some major decisions that you have to make. I also feel as well, this is a strong message. Um, for those of you dealing, okay, so I, I know this is a sensitive topic, but I do feel like a little bit of a health issue coming through from a father figure in your life especially if you haven't had a good relationship with the father figure. So, I mean, that's a message I'm getting through. You know, with the King of Wands, it, I usually read this as a father figure. Strength card in the reverse indicates to me potentially like a diagnosis or a, a dip in stamina, which indicates some health issues okay within the household and I do feel with the Emperor in the reverse position this person might have been somebody who was quite controlling who was quite domineering or it could be like an uncle it could be a father figure it could be like um, mom's boyfriend who's raised you so you know it, it's something like that and I, I do sense that um, you might have to be vulnerable. You have you have to let down your pride. You might not like this person, but you also have to treat them in a kind human way. If they need you, you want to be emotionally, physically available if you can. Okay, so that's something that I, I feel might potentially happen, you know, middle of the month. In terms of other things that are happening, like other blips on the radar, I do feel a lot of news are coming through and the, the moon card in the reverse position indicates to me like heightened, heightened intuition, okay? There might have been situations in the past. Um, it can be on the romantic front. I do feel for a lot of you, you might have dated somebody in the past and they might have stepped out on the relationship or you might have dated like three people without knowing or, you know, you might have been the third party without knowing. And I'm not talking about this new relationship. I'm sensing this is something from the past. And a lot of it is um, is being unveiled, basically. But it's in the past. And you've got a new person now. So it doesn't really matter. And I do feel that the information came in, or, or at least is coming in, to signal to you that, okay, whoever it was, and whatever information that you were so personally invested in trying to figure out, trying to rack your brain to find out, it just, um, as a result of this change in fortune, as a result of new per this new person in your life, you feel that your old life has definitely, it seems like ages ago, that you you were this person and now you're in a different phase in your life you're stronger you're healthier you're more emotionally and financially balanced so then you are starting to understand I, I feel like for a lot of signs October is like a clean slate type of month I do sense that for a lot of signs across the board especially for the earth signs it's just like you know we start out with judgment and then we have new 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 energies and I do feel for Aquarius once you make up this your mind about this person you're going to have new energy but you're procrastinating you're being a little bit stubborn this month you're procrastinating about making this choice and I do feel for a lot of you the, the person you're dealing with, is it's sitting down. They're kind of like sitting down, patiently waiting. And they're waiting on your action. So once you make that action, you know, once you make that gesture to walk towards them, then you are going to have a new beginning, like a brand new clean slate, all right? So use this month's energy to your advantage. 
And I do sense that, trust your intuition on this one. Like I said, it's not about choosing between two partners. I do feel it's it's something bigger than that. And I do sense, you know, not that people are not big decisions, but I do feel there's risk involved. So you want to take some time and sift through the information that's coming through. You want to take some time to do some research. You want to see the environment and things like that. Okay, so, so this is a major decision. It's not between two people, though. I do feel it's between your old lifestyle and the new lifestyle. And the new lifestyle is going to be, you know, it's going to help you open up. It's going to bring about new opportunities. And it's going to require that you relinquish control because Aquarius, you can't hold on to old things forever. And you can't also be so self-protective that you miss out on good opportunities to date good people. Okay, so a lot of passion coming through for this week. A lot of suitors too. I'm sensing suitors. But once again, you're not debating between two people. You're debating between one person and your old lifestyle and what it, having that person in your life would mean for your future, okay?